present at the Malabar Christian College, which is 125 years old, and the fact that there is such an enthusiastic group on chemi informatics, I understand supported by the UTC and also associated very closely with the OSDD, which stands for Open Source Drug Discovery Community, of which I too am a part. I'm delighted to be here to present some thoughts of mine on the subject which we have focused on today and uh, put up the title as Heterocycles and Molecular Medicine. Many of us know about heterocyclic molecules which contain in addition to carbon and hydrogen which has been the definition of organic chemistry in the past compounds, the study of compounds of carbon and hydrogen. In addition to that, we have nitrogen, it could be sulfur, it could be oxygen, and many other elements from the periodic table. Today, the number of heterocyclic compounds is phenomenal. But the focus of this uh, talk this day mainly concerns why these class of this particular class of compounds are of such great importance and significance to medicine. Molecular medicine is the term I like to use because we are using chemical entities, molecules, generally in a purified, highly purified, we chemists often presume that it's 100% pure and that too if there is a question of chirality or some asymmetry in a compound, then the compound would be 100% chirally pure. In fact, the drug laws, the drug is not misunderstood, substances which are used under the advice of physicians to treat humans who are suffering from diseases. I know there is a connotation of drugs which is misunderstood often in another sense. Hence the title focuses not on the words drugs or the word drugs but on the words molecular medicine. Let's get into the subject which I wish to cover now as shown the OSDD group is very interested in not only having senior scientists come into the group and contribute in terms of what we have often highlighted as research. But there is an increasing feeling worldwide and including in India, can we include the student community? Now how do we define the student community? Is it only postgraduate students? Students doing PhD? If India is to cross that critical barrier that our country produces in the shortest possible time ahead, not one, but hopefully many Nobel laureates, then the net has to be spread very wide, which means we have to get young students interested in real science as early as possible. It could be as early as the maybe age of five, maybe the primary school, maybe the middle school. This is not just my feeling. This is a feeling which is being echoed in the United Kingdom, in the United States, in some of the most uh, well-known university structures, say Harvard and so on. Professor Stuart Schreiber has been talking about this. How to involve young students? And this is one of the focus points even in the OSDD community, can we bring this work to begin with? OSDD is focusing on one disease, tuberculosis, which has once again made a comeback in the HIV AIDS era when there is and there are many forms of tuberculosis which are multi-drug resistant. We need new drugs. There have been no new drugs in the last 50 years, I understand. And 
many people in many countries, including India, carry the disease, not in a visible form, but in a form where it's subdued and not clearly visible, but it may express itself at any time. So it's a very challenging task. Can we in involve our young students, college students, school students, increasingly in the process of drug discovery, especially for one this one major disease in India, but then extend and build this idea for treating patients for discoveries in molecular medicine. So let's proceed with the thought that I have.